So in my list of things that I need you to do to be a healthy biped who breathes oxygen, who happens to be a female, not only do you need to do walking 10,000 steps a day, you need to do a mobility routine for 10 minutes. If you have EDS, you probably also need mobility, but you also need stability. If you are 35 plus, I need you to start weightlifting. If you are trying to support your lymphatic system, a mini trampoline is king. If you are unable to do all these things and you don't even want to do anything, might I suggest the vibration plate. If you are 40 plus, a vibration plate is really great for your bone density and muscle bulk. It also helps mobilize those joints. If you want to be extra, because I'm sometimes extra, Pilates on the reformer is delightful. If you want to go to the gym, great, but that's not what I'm generally talking about. I'm always talking about home exercise program. I have a reformer in my clinic. I have a reformer at my house. I am very, very lucky. Not many people have reformers, but I will tell you walking in Pilates has been my favorite form of exercise for over 20 years. But as I'm aging, I'm having to modify my home exercise program and add in weights because I did not realize for a long time that sarcopenia, which is muscle loss, happens and we lose 1% of our muscle bulk each year. So I am always trying to encourage women, we gotta maintain the integrity of your joints. I gotta keep your muscles. I gotta keep your bone density. I wanna keep your heart healthy. And there's a whole host of things that has to happen to keep us functioning. And I haven't even talked about doing pelvic floor contractions to keep your pelvic floor strong, but did you know, jumping on a mini trampoline strengthens your pelvic floor. If you don't have a mini trampoline, obviously you would strengthen your pelvic floor by doing Kegels or pelvic floor squeezes. And some people on this app will talk about you don't need to do Kegels, but listen, you need to do the basics well. If you don't ever practice trying to squeeze your pelvic floor, how are you gonna know? How are you gonna engage it? Because if you're doing some of these other exercises, you're gonna compensate. But just for the record, please never squeeze your pelvic floor while going to the bathroom. Okay, that is going to train you to have a bad habit. So ladies, you have some things you have to do, and I know when I say it like this, it sounds very, very overwhelming, but I'm just being real. Think of your skincare routine, think of your makeup routine, think of how you're cooking. Think of the most complex thing that you're doing, and it has many steps, but you got used to it. Exercise doesn't have to be complex, but there are some steps. Mobility means how flexible your joints are. Endurance, cardiovascular, strength, bone density, lymphatics, keeping your hoo-ha together. I know, it's a thing, I'm sorry. Hit the plus sign and follow for more women's health and wellness tips. Bye.